Hello, Taurus. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for tuning in one more time, my Taurus babies. Appreciate you so very, very much. You know I do. You know I do. I was going to take a minute of gratitude and thank my many, many Taurus friends that have blessed me over the years. Taurus, have you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form? Thank you so very much. So very kind of you. Appreciate it all. Large or small. Going to do some freestyle tarot tonight, huh? Playing with my one of my new faves around here. Uh, the Egyptian Art Nebu. Love this thing. It's coming together. And I got another. I got my golden Art Nebu right here for a little bit. Of he said, she said, clarifiers. These are relationship threads, huh? They can talk about home, work, family, the neighbors, the kids. But you know me, I'm looking for a love story. I'm looking for a love story. So I got I got my love cards here. And, uh, well, my Tara Illuminati Major Arcana is the top of your spread, Taurus. Uh, one more thing. Uh, through the month of March, I will be having another party on the 31st where I will be giving away FaceTime. Tarot reading to somebody. I'm going to give away some, a couple of tarot decks, uh, some good ones, and a handful of t-shirts. This is something fun to do with my lovelies that support me. Hey, if you'd like to play, all you got to do, drop me a comment, Taurus. Ain't got to be nothing fancy. Just give me a happy face. Give me a high mic. I'll shoot you back the little ticket, let you know I wrote your name down. And put your name in the barrel for our big drawing. Sunday the 31st, 6 p.m. Eastern. Let's rock and roll, Taurus. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what these cards want to say for Taurus, 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 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's go. Tarot time for my Taurus babies. What we got? An overall here. Two of Swords. Two of Swords. Hmm. That's that old card of somebody being in the land of indecision. It's got some air on it, Taurus. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mm hmm. Not my favorite card, you know. They're just kind of sitting there. They're just kind of sitting there. In the traditional... Um, the tide's coming in. The tide's coming in behind our two of swordsy right there in the traditional tarot, which means that they can't sit there in the land of indecision forever. There's gonna, there's a need for a decision around here. Taurus, what's going on? What's going on, Taurus babies? Taurus babies. Here we go. Here we go. Give me something on this. Oh, big strength card came out. Hmm. Big Leo energy right there. Strength. Oh. Somebody may be holding back here a little bit. Somebody's in the land of indecision around here, Taurus. Big old major arcana. Leo showed up. You know, that's like that, that's another card of holding back energy, probably maybe from my Taurus for Whatever reason, huh? What's going on around here? What's going on? Give me a little more of my Taurus babies. My Taurus babies. Oh, a judgment came out. Wow, this is interesting. It's another major arcana. It's a Scorpio card. That is my card of... Um, Rekindling something. I don't know, man. I don't I don't know about all this, Taurus. Who is this over here? Who is this over here? Strength, two swords about rekindling uh, a situation. Um, yeah, six of swords came out. Then they have some air in their chart. Six of swords is about somebody getting in the boat. Somebody getting in the boat around here, Taurus. Huh? Yeah, something about judgment. Something about judgment has showed up. Um, that's that card where you know you gotta stand before the you gotta stand before the gods and answer for yourself. 
Somebody doesn't want to have to run themselves around here, Taurus. Somebody just wants to get in the boat and cut and run. That's what I'm reading around here. They want to get in the boat. Six of Swords. Um, swords are air. So air has to do with thoughts, thinking. Two of Swords. They don't know. Should I stay or should I go? Taurus. You know, let them go, man. If they're, yeah, hangman. Hangman. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, somebody's in a tree around here, Taurus. I don't know what's going on, but uh, judgment showed up around here. Strength, three major arcanas, Pisces, hangman. Well, that's about somebody uh, wanting to get out of what they feel is a hangman's tree. God, you know, let them go, man. <laughs> let them go, man. Anyway, Taurus, Taurus, kind of an interesting spread for you right here. Mm -hmm. Friend or foe, family. Let's go. Give me some on this Taurus babies. <laughs> Taurus babies. I see some motorboats right there. Taurus babies. Taurus, I got the lovers showed up. At the end of this story right here. I'd be excited if it was the beginning. Um, but uh that's the lover that just showed up around there. Knight of Cups can be the non-committal lover. The non-committal lover just showed up, thinking differently and feeling differently, thinking about getting in the boat, thinking about getting in the boat, something about judgment. And this is a very interesting card right here with all the gods and the goddesses up there. Huh? You may have been asking somebody to think about it. I don't know. I see the lover. I see the lover possibly moving in a new direction. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> if you got to go, let me get the door for you. Let me, let me get the door. There you go. Have a nice journey. That's just how I play. Yeah, look at Taurus right here. Now we're pulling up some cards for Taurus right there. Yeah, let me get the door for you over here. That is nine wands. Yeah, looking right at this old lover right here, you know, the sweet talker. The sweet talker. Look at these pictures right there. Taurus, that's my wounded warrior. That's the one, you know, if it don't kill you, it makes you stronger, you know. Yeah, the old, the old warrior right there. Taking a good long look at it. Hangman, judgment. That's somebody making a judgment call about getting in the boat. The majors that I have here are Leo, Scorpio, and Pisces so far. Well, 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 well. Asa la vista, sayonara. Ooh, a king just showed up. A king of swords. I got a lot of air on here. I got a lot of air on here. King of swords just showed up. Face card, Taurus. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Looks like, looks like, uh, you know, that's somebody cold and detached. I, I'm reading, but I'm Taurus, you, this person is taking over your reading right here. Um, and I see somebody that is cold and detached and, uh, play, you know, probably plays the field. It's the lover, right? And I, I got one card for my Taurus babies right over there. Nine of Wands. And that talks about, you know, it's a nine. The tarot only goes to ten. And then it reduces, right, to that ace. So I see the Taurus is, you know, you probably had enough of this story that I'm looking at right here. Well, a strong connection with you two, though, huh? A strong connection with you two. Let's uh, let's shake these out right here, Taurus. This is three swords. It is a breakup card. It is a breakup card. And if you're already at nine wands, if you've already had enough, you know, enough's enough, man. You know, with a cold and detached, you know, uh, player. I'm shaking these out. This is for my Taurus babies. We're going to do a little spirits of surgery if you're resonating with us. Let's get these out. Here we go. Out. Out of Taurus's heart, out of Taurus's spread, out of Taurus's life, out. 
All right. All right. Show me something around me. Oh, wow. Look what came out after I shook that up. I don't know. I could talk about something new. Two cups. It's It shows. <laughs> it just said, pick me, Mike. Well, it might be time to let them go around here. That's a nice energy, Taurus. We might pick up on your cards right now, huh? Oh, I love that. We shook them out. Next card out is Two of Cups energy. That's a sweet soulmate energy right there, Taurus. Oh, wow. A golden coin. Are we looking a little bit into the near future? You know, we got to go through the gate right there. We got to go through the gate right there. Yeah, this is talking about, well, loving on yourself, healing yourself. Five cups. The old cup spiller. Looks like Taurus is going to fire the cup spiller. That's what it's looking like to me, Taurus. You know, there's a, there's all those doggone cups spilled over there. But the beautiful thing about the five of cups is the two cups that are behind our our, 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 our character right there. And two cups has already showed up over here and Taurus's coin. Taurus's coin. Uh, fives are about change, Taurus. Fives are about change. I think we might be looking at, uh, well, the near future, huh? The near future. Show me Taurus, babies. Show me my Taurus. My lovely, lovely Taurus. Yeah, breaking chains. There we go, man. That is uh, Eight Swords for me. I, that's how I read Eight Swords. I know. Um, not really trapped, right? Look at all the swords. They're all scattered. Looks like these loose binds are coming off. That's a jailbreak. That's a jailbreak right there from the cup spiller. Look at these pictures. Taurus, looking over your shoulder at the cup spiller. Breaking chains that bind. That's a jailbreak for my Taurus babies. Let's go, Taurus. Wow, look at this, man. The Major Arcana came out. Justice. Oh, that has that has a uh, uh, Mat, Mat, an, an ancient Egyptian goddess. I, I think I think she I think she rules in the underworld, but she moves the stars and she moves the heavens. Here she has the scales in her hand, Taurus. Right, the heart and the feather. Right, the heart and the feather. So it's a major arcana. It talks about the gods getting involved in your love life. It talks with me about the gods weighing the scales of people's hearts and falling in your favor right here. This is a jailbreak. This is a jailbreak. This is probably a promise from source for the near future for my Taurus that have had enough. Had enough of the damn cups filler right here. Breaking free, and then justice showed up at a major arcana. That's big Libra. That's big Libra. I like what the cards are talking about. I do, I do. All my love to you if you're in the if you're in the land of judgment. See now, now there's the God showing up. That major arcana shifted on me right there. Judgment. <laughs> judgment. Look at this, man. Two majors for you, Taurus. The God's got a better world here for you is what it's looking like to me. Yay. Let's go a little more for my Taurus right here, please. Oh, it's, it's you. Another major arcana. This is Taurus major arcana. It is the Hierophant. And with this story right here, um, well, the Hierophant can talk about a lot of wisdom that we learn from these journeys, you know, a lot of wisdom, a lot of insight, but they could have something very, very special coming in here for you when uh, justice is here and, and the Hierophant with this, with this two cups and an ace of pentacles. Hopefully you've met somebody new already. May have. Uh, oh, look, wow, something very special has showed up here for you, Taurus. It is the high priest and the high priestess. Oh, well, the high priest and the high priestess, right? That's a, that's a matching pair in the tarot. They still may be in the 5D. They still may be in the 5D. Because, uh, you know, 
The gods have made a call here. The gods have made a call. <laughs> Go towards. You see all these majors? Huh? Justice, judgment, and then a high priest and a high priestess came out here. Looks like they could be coming to the earthly plane soon. Soon and very soon with the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles right there. Wow, another major arcana. It's the world card, Taurus. Yes, and Taurus is on this card right here. It's the world card. It talks about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Hmm. Hmm. Um... That has Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Look at this. Five major arcana in a row. <laughs> Five major arcana in a row. So I'm going to get out another deck right here. I want to show you all. all, all there we go. Jailbreak. Justice. The weighing of the scales. There's the gods. Your, 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 your loved ones on the other side. It's Phoenix from its ashes. It's a resurrection card. And then the, the Taurus is high priest. And uh, the high priest is as Cancer Pisces. And then a new world. Now these are amazing major arcana that come out in a row like that, Taurus. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's find some more tarot around here. Taurus, let's take a look at this high priest and this high priestess here. That the tarot is talking about. Okay, we'll leave justice right up there. Jailbreak, justice, a new world. Um, let's put the new world right in the middle of my two significators. Um, we'll use this one for my Taurus, male or female, for your significator. Uh, we're going to throw some cards out on this high priest and this high priestess. And we'll put this uh, high priestess up here, male or female, for, uh, well, what maybe what the gods have a plan. Let's take a look at this. Thank you, Source. We want to look at um, Taurus's new friend that showed up. Taurus's new friend that showed up in this very powerful spread. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, tell me about this high priestess right here. Tell me about this high priestess, male or female, showed up in tail spread. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Oh, wow, it's a king of pentacles energy. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's a king or the queen of the world to me. That's somebody grounded, balanced, stable, loving, generous, kind, giving. Wow, Taurus. Ooh la la. <laughs> oh. There's that soulmate energy again. Two of cups. Two of cups. Hi, look into my eyes. I can't take my eyes off of you. Taurus. Ooh la la, baby. The king and the queen of the world. Two of cuppers. Two of cuppers. Taurus. I like, I like the way the divine's thinking about you these days. Here we go. Taurus. And a beautiful card of three pentacles. Man, you can't beat this. Because this is a card of collaboration. It's a card of building a firm foundation with somebody that's important to you and you are important to them. Wow, and a very powerful major arcana, the lovers. The lovers on top of all that. Taurus. <laughs> I'm kind of speechless. Oh, happiness and joy and bliss, huh? Could be somebody new. That's a card to celebrate in life. All right. Let's go over here and throw some cards on Taurus babies. Taurus babies. The Hairpant right here. The Hairpant. Give me some cards on Taurus, please, love team. Thank you. Hmm. Seven of Cups came out. Well, that would line up with the uh, non-committal lover. You know, because Seven of Cups for me is, you know, most of those cups are filled with ghouls and goblins and ghosters and toasters, you know. But I always see one character. Oh, there they are in this one. I always see one character up there that could be the one. 
If you're coming out of Seven of Cups energy right here, that's an old land of confusion and all that. Taurus, what's going on? And there's a big ace. There's a big ace. <laughs> yes. Yes, Taurus. That's about new love. Now, ace. No, no. Come on. This ace right here is about self-love. First and foremost, that's where we find, you know, love anyway. Hmm? Love it on yourself. I know us tarot readers talk about it all the time. At least I do. And um, in my opinion, love should be a surprise. So sometimes I feel that when I'm a tarot reader and I show you this kind of stuff right here, you know, I might be spoiling your surprise. <laughs> but this is a card about a direct connect with the divine. It is a card of self-love. And uh, I see a surprise from Source showing up around here. Taurus, yeah. Ten Swords. That completes the cycle. It certainly does. Um, it uh, talks about the ending of a very painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn. Looks like you're ready for it, too. Looks like you're ready. Six of Swords. That's where we get in the boat. That's where we get in the boat. And move in another direction. A very sweet one. All my love, Taurus. All my love. The gods are with you right here. So I don't mind. I, I really don't mind. Uh, yep, looking for somebody with equal give and take. Six pins. Sixes. These are sixes that came out after a ten. Sixes for me are about harmony and bliss. Harmony and bliss. All right. All right, my lovely. My lovely. <laughs> there is somebody coming in here. There's a knight of swords. That's my hero. And, uh, wow, well, ten pins. That's a tree of life. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so a couple of love cards for Taurus, please. A couple of love cards for my Taurus babies. All my love with you right now. All my love with you. I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't spoil the surprise too much. <laughs> Definitely time to let go of whatever this is over here, huh? All right, give me a card, please. Wow, chemistry came out. Ooh la la. Ooh la la, that matches all this, right? Uh, two of Cups, the Lovers, uh, King of Pins, Queen of Pins. Over here, we got 10 pins. Trade, trading in 10 swords for 10 pins. Trading in 10 swords for 10 pins. Chemistry, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Here we go, here we go. It's a soulmate. Look at look at him right here. Wow. <laughs> Taurus. Taurus. Here we go. Here we go. So staying optimistic about your love life. I know. I know. If you resonate with this, I know. But what I get mostly out of this is this this character right here. Um, definitely old school, huh? This is a temple right here. And she's busy about the things of the divine, right? She's looking for love in all the right places. Staying optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you the romance that you desire. It's right here in this tarot spread. You can come back and look at this as many times as you would like. Let's go. A couple majors right here for my Taurus babies. All my love. All my love, my Taurus babies. Here we go. Your card. Your card. Taurus, the Empress showed up. Venus, love and abundance. She's seated on her throne. She's back on her throne again. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's always birthing a new world, if you ask me. She definitely is always birthing a new world. You got, you got Venus um, on, uh, uh, overall. Let's get one more. Taurus, Taurus. Well, many of you, um, you know, let's give honor where honor is due. The high priestess 
the high priestess, right? Persephone is down in Hades for a season, my very angelic being. She gets to come up and go dance in the sun. That's how I would read this right here. Coming up and coming out of Hades. Oh, and a beautiful fool card for you. About a fresh start and a new beginning. A leap of faith. Okay, so Sarah. Whatever will be, will be. All my love, my Taurus. The gods are definitely with you, according to this spread right here. Uh, if you made it this far in, 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 in the story, thanks for your view. Appreciate it so very, very much. Hey, if you're new around here, hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have Taurus, huh? Smash that subscription button right there. Thank you very much. You know the red one? Smash that right there, Taurus. And, and while you're at it, ring that bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell, Taurus. And go on over here and hit that old I like Mike button if you would. Appreciate all that. Appreciate all that. And a quick reminder, got my giveaway on the 31st. Drop me a comment. Just give me a happy face. Give me a hi, Mike. And I'll see many of you on the 31st. All my love, Taurus. Bye for now.